We got your big homies trying to fix shit. You gon' face them charges, yes or no? What's up, y'all? It's your girl Chella, the realest bitch in it. And it's your man, Big Boss Bo. That's right, and you tuned in to Straight Drop Uncut, the realest podcast existing. You better believe it. You already know Bo is good. Same old shit, doing what the fuck I do, staying sucker free. That's right, and you know me, just remaining the butter water like the mermaid <laughs> I am, and just keeping it Straight Drop Uncut. Shout out to Straight Drop Uncut. Y'all see where we get this raw ass apparel from? All colors, all sizes, tees, hoodies, cups. You can pull up, you can drink, you can drink water like me and just cap if you want to. Phone cases, all that. StraightDropTheWorld.com. That's S-T-R-A, the world. The, T-H-E, not the, not the, the. The, you Straight already know. The world. You already know. You know. Chels, what you got going on? You know me just getting to it and just staying about that money. Speaking of money, <laughs> we got... Have money in the motherfucking building. We've been waiting gang, for gang. you. Hey, time money. Look, you came through like like youngster in this bitch, man. Hey. This is the first time we had a motherfucker come in and put bands on the motherfucking yeah. table like this, I man. Yeah. I thought we'd do something different, man. You know? Right. Talk some money shit, man. We went into 2020 feeling good. Looking good. To, yeah, looking good. We don't want to talk no death. We want to talk money. money that's yeah. what it's about. Time money. Now, listen. I'm going to tell you something, right? Uh-huh. You one of them guys, right, that I always feel is underrated. Like one of the best bar for bar. I, I, I put niggas like you and my man King Diesel, like bar for bar. I don't know no motherfuckers that's really like coming how you coming, right? Yeah. Every time you start heating up, right? Your ass go to jail, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so we need, we need, you know what I'm saying? You back at it now, yeah. and you back, you back on your, on your bullshit. Yeah. What we need from you is to stay free, so the world can finally get the real talents, man. Because I think you, you cheating yourself, man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and it ain't like you I, intend I on going that. in that motherfucker, but yeah. it is like it's just these free time money campaigns. I think you, you in the Guinness Book records for the most. <laughs> meat campaign. He didn't, he didn't double meat shit. <laughs> hey, meat behind time money. You know, three time money campaign. So, so, so what you doing different this time, man? Are you focused on the music or, or what? Yeah, I'm staying out the way. I actually, like somebody said on my Instagram earlier, like, uh, yeah, you on that band? That shit, that shit got you focused. And I ain't even on house arrest. So right. that's yeah. that's what people be thinking, like. But that's how I'm treating this shit, though. Like I stay out the way. I literally stay downtown, like, out the way. I don't, mm -hmm. like, you feel me? I only come out to the hood when I absolutely have to, but I stay out the way now. Like, I lock myself in. And I record out there. I got everything I need, so ain't no purpose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know. I'm tired of the free time money yeah. shit, too. Like, I'm tired of jail. Like, I be tired mm -hmm. of that shit, so. I just tried to came. I just tried to come home and reinvent myself this time. Cause I was I was mad at you when you on the last before you went in on the last one. You come out the yep. first nigga to get a feature from Bump. You know, then the the yes or no yeah. blowing up, and then after that you gone. I'm like, man, this nigga here, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he keeps dropping the, the ball, man. Yeah, I shot myself in the foot for that one, man. For real, I was sick. I was sick that time. All the other times it's cool, but after I got the verse from Bump, and that shit hit a million, mm -hmm. yeah, my first million. And I was just about to say that yeah, that video sure. was your highest view video yeah, to date. So I was sick, so I, I think about that every day, and that's probably what keep me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you so. still rap? Had the same click as you did? Like, has that changed over time? Like, cause a lot of times, a lot of things that cause us to get in these situations is our surroundings from our homies to our relationships like how are you doing moving different now i mean it's, it's still the same guys I, mm. I slow down on the drugs that's yeah. really what was what was fucking me over them drugs which drugs was you doing because i don't know that so <laughs> ecstasy and molly every night mm. every night overdosing having seizures all type of shit. damn right yeah I had no idea. Yeah, I was in the hospital like a few times for that shit. I had a seizure in front of my daughter mm. off the molly and said I wasn't going to do it again. We go out, I do it again, pick up a gun, it's cracking. Next wow. thing you know, I'm locked up. So uh, this time around, I ain't doing no drugs. So Man. That's a beautiful yeah. thing, that's, man. That's I ain't doing them drugs. 
Yeah. Doing them. Now, when I first heard of you, I first heard you, you had the joint, uh, what was it, the PSA? Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Then I seen T.I., you know, had some good shit to say about you. And this was back in the yeah. beginning. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So <laughs> how did it feel like being a, a, a new artist coming out, getting those types of stamps and cosigns and shit it was, it was in cool. the beginning? It was cool in the beginning, but, you know, it was a lot of people around who, you know, you be having people in your circle who don't mean you well. Mm. Right. So I had a lot of people in my circle back then who ain't mean me well. So I kind of, like, I wasn't feeling it. Like, I know I had to, I was down there with Tip, like, got invited to his house for Thanksgiving, like, all that good shit. But mm -hmm. I still was around the wrong people. Right. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So I'm kind of glad. I won't say I'm glad I got locked up, but. That shit kind of saved me in a, in a, mm -hmm. in a way. Right. You know Being as wise. Right. Okay. I yeah. feel you. Yeah, I heard a couple of guys tell me that, like, even though they regret going to jail, it kind of gave, gave them time to just sit back and observe and just clear their mind. I'd be sure. like, okay, well, if that's what it takes, you know, right. make sure. the future bigger. So, sure. shout out to you. And it's good that you are addressing the drug problem. You know, we didn't have yeah. a lot of people we lost that lost their whole lives from that shit. Yeah. So that's good that you recognize that that shit over with, that shit weak. You know, you yeah. way too talented and big. And like you said, with the seizures, your daughter, things like that. So mm. it's good to know you just sticking to the weed. Because I know you definitely smell That money smelking. Yeah, man. I yeah. Have to. Cold turkey. Yeah. So on one of your joints, you say when you when you came home on this one, you spent how much? The, uh, how much what? money you spent? As soon as you came home off your last bit, your first video, you say this ain't no cap. Matter of fact, this was in one of the freestyles you did. Uh, yeah. You say you came home and spent how much in a week? Was it 50 mm -hmm. or 100? Or, you went crazy spending, you know what I'm saying? If I had to add it all up. <laughs> yeah, it probably was like. A sixty, fresh out. Yup, I spent like a sixty. Yeah, right. Probably more than that, but you know I take care of a lot of people, so it's probably yeah. more than that. But on myself, I probably spent the sixty. Well, right. you know, yeah. you'll get it back. Get sure. it back. Oh, he it got it here. Hey, <laughs> hey, and let me say this to y'all, cause my fucker just got through going in on me. Oh, you got pictures with money in this. White paper. Yep, I did do that. Because it's a photo shoot and I'm a female and I can get away. But these is bands. Look at this shit. Matter of fact, let me get one. Look. Can I just hold? Because I ain't held this book. Hello? <laughs> Real bands. Real bands. Got money. Yes, King sir. of Harvey. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, you the face of Harvey first. Mm -hmm. Everybody know that. Like, it's been people that came after you. Um, shout out to Chinchilla Meat too. Yeah, yeah. The Queen sure. Harvey. Sure. Marvel. Um, yeah, Marvel. 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 That's yeah. Big cousin. Right. Yeah, cousin. Yeah. Shout out to Marvel. Yeah. yeah. But you put Ty Money when you can't talk about Harvey without talking about Ty Money. Fact. Anytime I hear Harvey, I throw it out. Oh, Ty Money said my name in songs. Yeah. You can't tell me shit. This is two of them, <laughs> yeah. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. It's like two songs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> See, y'all other rap bitches, Ty Money didn't say y'all name in his songs, bitch. <laughs> I'm extra special. So I thought Search I just want to just remind them. So yeah. Shout out to you for that. We see you got the 147 merchandise that you doing. Yeah. Tell us about that. Um. I always wanted to do something like that, but I felt like like it was the right time. I ended up just really giving them to the guys uh -huh. like you feel what i'm saying it was really just a members only thing but i got so many hits like everybody like man let me get a hoodie let me get a hoodie uh -huh. then i did the L. I think that everybody was wearing a dicky shit you feel me and i'm seeing my homies wearing dicky outfits for sure i might as well put it on them too yeah you right feel me? so that's really how it started it really wasn't for sale at first i yeah. just so many people was hitting me i probably just pull up on a motherfucker and just sell him a hoodie or whatever. But. Yeah. Now, so you rep Harvey, but you really originally from the city, right? Yeah. Okay. But yeah. Harvey, what, that's just like, fuck it, this is where it's, I it's, made my name it's at. Like, it's like Harvey World. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's like, it's Harvey, it's Markham, it's Dalton, it's Cal City, Dixmore, like all that shit make up 
Harvey, Harvey World. World. Okay. Like, you feel me? It's like a bubble. When everybody know each other, everybody know what's going on. So if I rep anything, it's Harvey World. Harvey World. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's why, that's why I yield 147 Sibley Gang. It's just like, I, I ain't try to single out myself and be like, yeah, these my niggas just saw who I'm fucking with. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's I like, wanted the whole 708 to be I feel this shit. So. That's good shit. Yeah. That's good shit. Yeah. You know, I've I've been seeing you doing a lot of shit with no ID. Yeah, right. Man, I'm what the fuck we got going on, man? What you know what I'm saying? You know, straight drop uncut, get it first, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't like to uh, count my eggs before they hatch, but um, you got to speak it into existence, though. Yeah, definitely. You know, and, uh, that nigga hit me up, man. He wanted to sit down, and it was out the blue, really. Right. It was really yeah. out the blue, bro. And I I sat down with him. We talked some good shit. Right. And we supposed to be like. Doing some shit. Man. Say less. Oh, we, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. We ain't even got to get into it. We know. That's amazing. Though. You That's know. Amazing. Well, you know. You no ID. And you yeah. deserve You know what the it. fuck you Thank better you. do, no ID. Yeah. Yeah. Do, it to, do the right thing. You know. This is me. This, this is me. T- these meal tickets sit right here. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah. And you deserving of it. You know, yeah. regardless of if you kept going to jail, that ain't stop you from coming with them bars. Definitely. I sent you going crazy on the challenge you just did. Yeah, you know the um balling on the bitches yeah. challenge. I only Everything. did because Bump did it really. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even know it was a challenge. I seen Bump do it. I'm like, damn, yeah. Bump on Instagram rapping. Yeah, and then you did it, and then I yeah, went. And I yeah. said, you know what? I'm doing this shit. Too. <laughs> <laughs> Bump, I need my time. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, 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 shout you out Bump. That shit. Shout out Bump. My yeah. Yeah. Bump had, had asked me. He like, man, well, you know uh, Ty Money. I'm like, yeah, that's my little man. He say, man. I think I'm gonna do some business with him. He yeah. was trying to, you know what I'm For saying? Sure, he yeah. like, man, he a dog. I'm like, bro, sure. he the truth. You know what I'm saying? He was on, matter of fact, this one he was on, on uh, at the work release center or yeah. at the halfway house. Yeah. And he was, he was asking. He like, man, he, he cold. I'm like, bro, he the truth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So everybody know you the truth, but do you, by you not getting that that exposure and shine that that you deserving of, do you feel underrated sometimes? I mean, that's cool. I love right. that feeling. That's right. cool. I don't want to be like most talked about number one artist in the in the world, and I ain't ready for that yet. Like I feel like I still got work to do. So when I these little lists and shit be coming out, and I ain't on them bitches. Like that's I I, I I work with that. Right. That's fine with me. Like you feel me? I love that. That's what keep me. That's what keep fire under my ass. But because like, because you know yeah, that you I should know. be at, at amongst the top of that list somewhere yeah. at the top. Like for you sure. know that. Yeah. So really, you do be feeling underrated, but you like okay, I'm gonna make it. something I ain't doing right to make all you motherfuckers realize yeah. what really everybody know already. For sure, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I think it's really just you don't be putting out enough content yeah. because motherfuckers can't never make that list. It's like out of sight, out of mind. So if they ain't yeah. seeing you right there, you can slip their mind. But yeah. when they see you. I ain't heard nobody say nothing <laughs> bad. <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't heard nobody say, man, shorty ain't the truth. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, that, I mean, that can't be denied or argued, period. Yeah. I'm going to speed it up, though. I'm finna just, That's why uh, I basically took the initiative to try to reinvent myself. I'm going to start dropping way more music, way more video. I just shot like seven videos with dog food. Them bitches in the bag. I'm going right. to drop. I'm going to drop. State versus Thai money or the state versus uh Thai money versus one one tomorrow on Christmas Eve. By the time y'all see this, it'll be out. I'm gonna drop one one in January. I'm still dropping single to money mm-hmm. in May. So I only drop one project a year, right? Like you feel what I'm saying, right? My whole this whole little career I got going on, I only dropped once a year. So I feel like it was a little bit of inconsistencies on top of me keep getting locked up and shit. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to give him a lot this year. Mm-hmm. Right, and that yeah. that flow you got a a signature style, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. yeah. you know I had somebody try and check me with the joint we did, yeah. and they like, oh you, you stole crazy. you stole Ty Money flow. I'm like bitch, what? I did it to <laughs> to get on his level to show him that I can do this, bitch. Oh, mama, you like, <laughs> you had me ready to redo my verse, bro. I swear to God. Bro. No, hey, no, your shit was shit. crazy, bro. Man, yo shit, yo crazy. shit, that it made me have the car. I say, damn, I can't. Cause I tried to come how I come, then I said, hell no. I said I gotta come <laughs> with his flow on this shit. My That's mama, the only way it's it gonna work. Perfect. Yeah, it went that perfect. Shit was cold. That's sure. how I was on that challenge. I kept going back watching his him and Bump 
I'm like, man, these niggas, I got stuff. These hoes, because I was looking at all the girls. I was like, all right, okay, they cool, they cool. I seen them getting all up. I'm like, cool, because I be liking to share the spotlight, yeah. you know. I was saying, child, that shit took me forever to write my shit, because I'm like, look, I can't just, like, come, like, and just be like this, all right, and yeah. you got bump and tap money. Yeah. yeah, Top Money got yeah. that effect. I told him, man, you bring out the best in me, man, because yeah, if motherfucker comes from bullshit on the track with yeah. you, boy, they going to be... You got to go back to the... That could be a, a, a career ender. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I want to touch on that list. We was talking about those lists, and I do feel like a lot of it is consistency. You know, yeah. I'm somebody who always get off the list, too. But I think a lot of those people who do the list are dick-eating dogs and ball hogs. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't just you or what you ain't doing. I think that they um, kind of, like, a lot of them, they be boys who be having on white pants and come on their periods. Yeah. And um, <laughs> they just be fans uh, and just trying to get, just groupied out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They might feel like, I know like with me, people always be like, oh, she need to sit down somewhere. She had her time. Bitch, my turn is still here. Yeah. I haven't reached what I wanted to reach. So you should be a real nigga and listen to the bars and the music because at the end of the day, that can't be denied. It don't yeah. matter how many times a motherfucker then fell off and came back. At the end of the day, that's what it is. So it ain't just that, you know. And those lists, I think people too give it too much importance. Yeah, because who yeah. the fuck is you goofy ass niggas that's yeah. got yeah, seven day passes be, be, and be empty bank accounts? That shit, I'd be like, well, I don't care about that shit. Yeah. Right. So right. fuck, fuck your list. Straight up. What who type made this guy? Right, this exactly. Who are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What type of investments you making, man? Because you've been getting a lot of money. You've been blowing through a lot of money, getting designed up, jewelry, okay. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all <laughs> type of shit, yeah, you know? <laughs> Foreign <laughs> webs, I see you in all types of every every new and up-to-date form. You hopping <laughs> in them, bitches. Man. You bad know? investments, bro. Bad, <laughs> bad investments. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to sit up and yeah, kill buying cribs. None of that, bro. Bad investments, bro. But you know, you well, it's still coming. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. Growing. You still got it. Yeah. See, so you got invest on. that in yeah. front of you now. Don't go spend that on a yeah. chain. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, or on another whip. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, if yeah. you want to just accidentally leave one on the table, <laughs> 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 yeah, foreign whips. I see you did a song recently that was hot with Parquet. Shout out to yeah. Parquet. We love you on Straight Drop Uncut. Yeah, yeah Parquet, my shout nigga. Out Parquet. Shout out Dan Parquet. Dan Cash, my shout artist, by the way. Shout out to Dano. That shit went hard. You went on that bitch. It's like, how is it getting on songs? Not that song, but you got a lot of songs you didn't did with other people. Have you ever did a song and you you sent your verse and then next you know you did they didn't want to change their verse because they really couldn't keep up with you? No, you don't know about it, People be sending me blank beats. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be like, what you want me to do? And they be like, man, just do you. Go crazy. So I don't really people don't really send me songs that's done already. Yeah, they but you be me. going crazy. Yeah, it ain't yeah. easy to get on those songs with that money. It's nah, like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> that's why <laughs> they send it. Come. Come. They like yeah. you know what? Oh, that's stupid. <laughs> that's yeah, how yeah, he come nah. first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They write they verse. That's what they is doing. Yeah, that's how you got to. Cause if he he already gonna come hard anyway. But if he hear your shit, then you might as well just know it's over with. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, I see you fuck with a lot of different niggas in the city. Um, yeah. How do you stay out of, how do you move as far as, like, different niggas be having beefs? How do you stay out that shit? Or do you fuck with people or don't fuck with them because they might be into it with some of your homies? Or how do you maneuver? Shit, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't, I don't really mix music with street shit so mm -hmm. if i fuck with a nigga and he send me something i'm gonna do it i don't know fuck who he into it with but uh i don't mix the two I, I don't recommend the next nigga do that neither because now you fucking up your own, your you fucking up your money now mm -hmm. right and a lot of these niggas i'll I be hollering at a lot of these niggas like shout out her duck yeah all them niggas like you feel what i'm saying like they know what's up but you know i i don't i don't really put I don't really mix street shit with my music. Like, I be trying to be too crafty to be doing shit like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? At the uh -huh. end of the day, this shit, this shit about the art, bro. Like, you feel me? So, that's as far as this shit going with me. Like, you want to talk about some street shit, then that's... Right. It's not going to make it to YouTube at all. So, yeah. it's, it's different. Who, who are some artists that 
from the city that you look forward to working to that you a s- surprise features coming up or like that you connect with that we don't know about uh i don't know man i just fuck with bump bro mm-hmm. like, for real i fuck with bump and then did a stretch came home still relevant mm-hmm. still yeah. nice and mm-hmm. he did shit for me a lot of motherfuckers like you know what i'm saying yeah. wouldn't even know but I fuck with him. That's Character the only nigga I continue to look work, look forward to working with. Mm-hmm. <coughs> For real. Character is big. Yeah. I yeah. didn't have people who they might be talented, but then when you <laughs> see when the camera's off, I'd be like, this bitch is a dang bad. <laughs> I don't want no parts. <laughs> so sure. I know I'm sure that's how it go with the guys, but yeah. I'm sure some guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, that definitely I could see you fucking with, like you said, you've been fucking talking to her, Doug, yeah. and all these people. So I look forward to you just expanding and growing. I'm yeah. glad you get the bigger picture. We want to yeah. see you home. I think when you was in jail, I don't know if it was the last time. I didn't forget. You you then went to yeah. jail more than all my exes combined. So, But I remember writing <laughs> you on some pictures. I mean, yeah, you wrote me. You was, hey, man, yeah. shout out to Tell H, man. Was that the last time or the time before? That was the last time. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. the last time. You was like one of the only females who wrote. Yeah, see, like, y'all bitches. You was like one of the only. You was definitely the only female rapper. From Chicago, who wrote me? Yeah, send well, me you pictures. Know these bitches. I send did. Damn, I sent flicks. Look, oh, no, no, it was, no, we, no, no. Flicked it up for money. Like, yeah, it no, was like a few of the home girls, like on the yeah. flicks. Like I was loving that. Yeah. I couldn't believe that. But yeah. shout out to you. Uh, yeah, shout out to me. I am. They don't make them like me no more. I fight to pat myself for on sure. back. But I think when I was in a mass state of sending it to you. I didn't know you was locked back up. And then mm. it was just like, damn, this motherfucker then. Again, and I think I in the letter, I remember telling you, like, look, come yeah. on now. Yeah, it wasn't just sure. like a card. I was, like, writing you just to let you know, like, we care about you. We want for to sure. see you win. We want to. I'm a fan of seeing a real win. It's yeah, a lot sure. of niggas from day. the city that been blessed with opportunities, but their characters be off. For sure. No, no that's, that's, nah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you realize, now, while you was locked up, right, mm-hmm. did it start making you look at certain people different? Because I remember a couple times, because I, I had reached for you before yeah. with you uh, trying to get your bond money together, For and sure. motherfuckers were sending your, your people them off, and I sent the bread to make sure. sure. You know what I'm saying? So it's I like, too, when you For come sure. home, do you look different at the people who were supposed to come through and fail through, or you just like, I know what it is, man? No, I don't. It is what it is. This is how this shit go, man. For real. Like, this is how this shit go, man. I'm out there doing dumb shit. I can't be mad. A motherfucker ain't going in his pockets to, and knowing I'm finna fuck the bar money up. Right. Like, you so me? you knew yeah. you was gonna fuck that up yeah. again. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I'm finna fuck this bar money up when I get out. Like, for real. So I don't, I can, I, you know. Right. It is what it is. I had to get my set, my shit together. Shout out to everybody who ain't helped because you definitely helped me mm-hmm. get my shit together. You in a relationship? Yeah. Yes. Your baby mama or just girlfriend? <laughs> how does it go as far oh. as like? Okay. So, so how the how does she? It goes like. I know bitches being your DM. DM. For sure. You know, heavy in the DM. For sure. Time money, let me do that motherfucker. Let me know that motherfucker. Let me knock that. All that. How do you deal with that? You just ignore them or you flirt or you do it on the side or what? I mean, some some of them hoes be looking so good, I hit them back, bro. I ain't going to lie. I be like, damn. You feel me? But some of them hood buggers, I just put that shit in the... uh, what you call it when they can't you you the can look at it but they yeah i sit that shit to the side but yeah. someone be so bad i be telling my bitch like man this bitch bad i had to say something <laughs> like, yeah, I had to. so do that cause trouble at home but you sure. you're right sure. so why you tell her if you know it's gonna cause trouble she at see home shit anyway because <laughs> she be in your damn yeah be That's all like in that lick it is what it is like though shit, right it's the world now yeah, you gotta be careful too, cause these hoes be catfishing. Y'all know they got these apps. All my fuck gotta do is take them two fingers, take that waist in, wait till my album cover come out. Take that waist in, <laughs> take them hands, my be like, ooh. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Catfish. So that's what's up. Um, how many kids you got? Uh, one. One. Yeah. 
Why you look? Is it possible somewhere? Or? I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, who knows? So we who won't knows? speak that into existence. <laughs> we'll just ride with the one. How How was that, being a parent? Uh, it's cool. My daughter, like my best friend, I let her curse mm-hmm. in front. I let her do whatever she want in front of me, as long as it's in front of me. And it ain't behind my back and shit like that. We got a special relationship. You said you let her what at first? Curse in front you of do? me. Yeah. And how old is she? Do you promote it? Do no, you tell I her promote, the curse? I, I, or I, I don't promote it, but I, don't, I, don't, I know I curse in front of her. Mm-hmm. So I don't want her going somewhere else. And they acting like cursing is bad in front of kids when her daddy do it. Like, I do it. Like, you could do it around me. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Just just watch it. Like, sometimes she go overboard. Like, I, I like her mama come over and she's just, Bitch! <laughs> and then she keep saying it. And I'd be like, all right, Gabby, that's enough. Like, calm down. I hear her walking through the hall right now. <laughs> yep, that's her. Yeah, bad as hell, man. Yeah. How old is she? She's six. She said the same age as my daughter. Yeah. Them yeah. six-year-olds are a, a handful. Yeah. I don't know about the cursing. You know, everybody parent it to, they, to each his own. But when you allow your kids to do certain things and then they go to school... Like, is it rules? Like, okay, do this, but don't do it at school. Then it's like they go to school and do it, and they get in trouble. Like, what do you do? It is what Go to the school, talk to the teacher. Whatever. Get out of it. <laughs> but I, I, do that I, shit no I more, definitely shit. expect, I'm trying to get my daughter homeschool and all that good shit. Mm. So, it is what it is. I just want her to be able to express herself to the fullest. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's wrong now. Nah, like, people don't get to express themselves to they 18. Next thing you know, they're in the county. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, I just let her express herself. Speaking of express, they said, we just had a conversation about D. Wade and how he allows his son to express they self, yeah. his self. So, um, your daughter, you got a girl, you allow her to curse. If it was a boy, would you allow him to crop top and... Yeah, I'm going to have to contradict myself on that. <laughs> okay. I was just right. talking about this the other day. like Right. Can't happen. <coughs> Can't happen. Man. I don't know what I do. Couldn't even say. Yeah. But knowing nah. you right now, would you? Would you at at eleven years old? Would you go buy the nails and the crop top? Because you know at eleven they can't buy it on their on yeah. their own. So you you have to be the one supplying this this child with these wants. No. Yeah, I, 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 I keep saying the same shit. It's not in my household. Yes. Now, if you get grown and uh, and you old enough to buy it on your own and do what you do, I'm not you. mad at that. But I'm not going to condone support, that yeah, or support nah. that at all. Yeah, that shit over with. They probably order online. I wouldn't give a fuck where they getting it from. Yeah. You drink Remy or Patron? Both. Mix? No. Chaser or Stripe? Uh... I drink Patron Reposado and I drink lemonade with it. And I drink Remy with cranberry in it. Swishes or backwoods? Backwoods. Them motherfuckers stink. You gotta wash them. <laughs> Run them in water for a minute. Get all that shit off. Everything. And they ain't gonna stink? No. You do the Russian creams or just the regular ones? Which ones you do? Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> Them motherfuckers, hey, them backwoods, they be a whole nother ball game. Yeah. I don't smoke them, but even smelling them, they just make me stop, drop, and roll. Ass or titties? <laughs> Ass. Head or pussy? Pussy. I don't like it. I never came over here. Well, really? I probably did one time. I think I did one time. Mm. I, I, heard, I heard some people say that. Like, some guys be like, into it like that zombie into it but they ain't that thing they need that tight it's like muscle yeah it's like the head be just like oh this bitch sucking the shit i'm up and fuck the shit like mm-hmm. it's like that's only getting me prepared for what we finna do like right that ain't the cherry on top at all like, mm-hmm. right it's that stomach scraping yeah especially <laughs> she got little ass mouth teeth steady scraping on the mm. lip oh that no. shit man. cool <laughs> okay, sis, open up. <laughs> open the fuck Shut up. up. With your girlfriend or baby mama relationship, um, what type of guy are you like? You seem to be so reserved, like and romantic and shit like that. You seem to be just like, like you a spoiler motherfucker. Uh, or you just tough. I'm tough, man. You tough? It's tough. It's tough being with me. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's tough, cause. 
man, I am reserved. Like when I'm out and shit like that, I'm definitely reserved. But when I'm in the house, like I want to, I want to be one one again. Yeah. Now you see me? I want to be one one in the house. One one, like he tough. You ain't affectionate. I sp- I sp- I I wouldn't say affectionate. I wouldn't Just say hard like, all the time. Yeah, I buy some shit and like do all that shit. Roses, cars, mm-hmm. but uh, buys rose petals. And, Waking up to breakfast in bed, I can't. I don't know how to do that shit yet. Right. Yeah, I, gotta, I got some growing to do. Yeah. When you was locked up, I know you did a lot of writing. Did you do any reading? I ain't do no writing. You didn't. No. At all. At all. I couldn't write enough. Damn, that's crazy. Was you reading? What was you doing? I was reading like a motherfucker. I read. I read a lot of books. I read uh. 48 Laws of Power, that was my favorite book uh-huh. I read in that bitch. Uh, the Art, uh, How to Love or some shit like that, How to Be Affection. It was some book on the fa- I tried. Right. You know, yeah. I definitely <laughs> tried. Like, you feel me? But Get an E for effort. Came right. on, that shit went out the window, man. <laughs> Straight up. But uh, I definitely, I was just reading enough. Because I was in dorms, too. I was in dorms for a lot of my time. So Niggas be all in my face and shit. I ain't got time to write enough. Right. Where you was at? Uh, the last joint I was in was Southwestern. Oh, Southwestern. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Baby boot camp. Right. Yeah. You seem like you've been to all of them, motherfucker. Boot camp, <laughs> joints, penitentiary, yeah. maximum light. <laughs> all of so I remember they fucked up my pay. I was in motherfucking. Uh, I was in Vienna, and uh, they fucked up my paperwork and sent me to Menard. I had to sit in Menard for thirty days, but. I just remember on my way there. I'm showing everybody in the joint, like, what are they sending me to? Go and say K Wu up the band, whatever it is, K forty seven. Real, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So they like, bro, you going to Menard. And I'm a, I just remember sitting on my bed like, damn. Right, because it's uh, it's rough down, down there. there. Right, right. Like, real, I weighed a hundred pounds. But you know, they uh I sat in there for thirty days. I had a cool ass Sally from my hood, so it was cool. It is crazy. I see. I'm cool on that jail shit. Yeah, you man. You be working yeah. out? Hell no. I can't lift a pencil. <laughs> Straight up. Do you think, um, I know with me, it's, that's something I got to work on because working out helps your performance. You know, it it help out. Like, do you just be like, man, this just ain't going to be me or do you got a plan to work out or no? I don't see it. He ain't doing none of that shit. Yeah, I know, Mo, like, he be up there knocking that dummy out. You better. <laughs> no, I kick ass. I'll be, be knocking that motherfucking you. dummy out. Right he hand to God. Him, y'all don't know. That nigga right hand up. to God, bro. I will beat one of you niggas ass. <laughs> I swear to you. We can do the, get the gloves or any one of you rappers or any one of you niggas. I promise you. I will beat the shit out you. I promise you. Fuck the dummy. The dummy don't hit back. Like <laughs> dude, when we was doing this shit coming up, this how we we go in the backyard sure. with the glove. I've been beating niggas ass all my life. <laughs> For sure. I was a chief, and nobody gave me that just because I beat up everybody in the hood. Like, and I taught all the other shorties and all them that was with me how to fight. Yeah. Like all facing them who started Jumaine them knocking niggas out. They got they got that from me. I taught them how to fight. I believe you. So yeah. if, if you ever want to try me, <laughs> get your ass beat up. <laughs> yeah, What's your favorite sport? Basketball, baseball, football. Uh shit. I can't say I watch football and basketball like a yeah. motherfucker though. Yeah. What's your teams? Patriots. Oh, really? no. Yeah, they're my boys. Okay. They've been winning man. me money since 2005. Money, time, money. Anything that got to do with money, you know what the fuck's no going cap. on. What about basketball? Bulls, right? Fuck no. I can't fuck with them. Like, right. I go to the game because I'm from Chicago. But, uh, you know niggas don't go to them Bulls games when they playing the Lakers or the Clippers. Niggas, y'all, we going to the Bulls game. Ain't nobody coming to no Bulls game when they playing somebody trash. Like they going to see LeBron now. Damn. Mm-hmm. What ha- I remember at one time you were supposed to be doing something with Nick Cannon. Yeah. What happened with that? Like, uh, <clears throat> what was we doing? He wanted to do a project. 
he wanted to get behind a project because I guess Nick Cannon trying to get back into like the rap scene. Mm-hmm. So, and I was fucking with Nick like on some personal shit. It wasn't. It ain't had nothing to do with music. Like mm-hmm. that nigga, he was. That's bro. Like he was he looking out for a nigga right. behind clothes. Yeah, he he He's did workaholic too. Like I came that nigga. I came to L.A. He was shooting some movie or whatever. Then when he was done with that, he had to do this. Then he was done with that, he had to do this. Then do this. And I'm just looking at the nigga like, damn. Like, always moving. Like, you feel me? So that inspired me when I came back home. But uh, he a real nigga, though, man. He he, he, he seemed goofy, goofied out. Like, you feel me, on the gram. And he should have called me when he, before he did Eminem. I could have put uh, some shit together. Look, I was just going to say, what, what you think about that? Now, let's be real. Let's let's be real, right? Because we on <laughs> straight drop uncut. You know, they got some right? shit going on, though. They had this shit going on for years, bro. Right, yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But the songs that he been putting out, though, yeah. that, that Nick put out, was they, was they, was they on? Why he didn't call you for it, though? I said that in the song. Like, he did this Eminem. What the fuck? Why the fuck he didn't call me for my touch? Like you I know said, what I'm saying? Yeah, I said. But that. I ain't even really listened to the songs, to be honest with you. Yeah. I just watched it, like, uh, observe it, but I ain't really listened to the songs. It wasn't, it wasn't. Right, you heard a little bit of it and then just kept it moving. Yeah. That mean it ain't catch you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't catch me. People thought I was hating, but I'm like, man, that shit just ain't catch me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I think Prince Easy was on one of them, so I supported yeah, it because my man, you know, I fuck with, with Easy, but... Yeah. Like all that other shit, like I'm just gonna be easy, real. Yeah, shout yeah. out Easy, that's my brother. Yeah. But all that other shit that they was doing, like I can't say it was dope. It really, it wasn't dope. I, yeah, I, I didn't see it, but I like Nick Cannon. I fuck with Nick I Cannon think he's too. Silly. I, I think like, people, I like. A lot of times, niggas, especially certain niggas, they be like, "Oh, that nigga goofy. That nigga." That. I like funny, silly niggas. Women, we don't be caring about. Oh, that nigga, man, he'll blow a motherfucker down. That don't turn us on. We want somebody to make us laugh and happy and that get money. Because that motherfucker gets money. money. So, you know, I don't know. Eminem, you know, I ain't putting his raps down, but, you know, we fuck. They turn on people. What's next for Ty Money on the music side? Uh, I'm finna Next single and all that. I'm finna drop like a month. I just did like five freestyles to other niggas' beats. I'm finna drop that shit on Christmas for Christmas. I'ma drop uh, a project, Wan Wan. Got about 14 joints on it. January. And Cinco to Money 5 in May. I think this yeah. is the last Cinco I'ma do. I'm kinda tired of using that shit, but Cinco to Money 5, this is the last one in May. So after that shit, it is what it is. I can't even really tell you, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, really shit, that's a it. lot already, though. The Cinco to Money is like that. Yeah. Boy, them motherfuckers, I, hey. I like the whole concept. <laughs> I remember one time, this funny. One time I was high as hell and I called Ty. She said, oh my <laughs> I called Ty. I was high as hell. And I was just rapping because I like to, I, I make, I write music. And I'm more of a lyrical type rapper. People probably don't know that. But mm. if you go back to the, the facts, people who know, they know that I rap circles around bitches. But they know me for shit like yeah. slipped on a dick option, so they don't know. Yeah. So I got in my mode and I called Ty Money. <laughs> I, I think I was with Steve. He was like, "Man, your ass clicking. Why the fuck would you call him for that?" I <laughs> forgot what it was. But I I was listening to Michael Jackson. They don't really care about us. Right. And I was like, I want to redo this shit because I had, I just had so many bars. And I called Ty Money, and he was like, "Um, uh, he was." He was like, yeah, but he was really sounding like, okay, if that's what you want to do as a first. I'm like, you sure what you want to do? I just, it was something about the they don't really care about us at the moment. Right. It was like some black power <laughs> shit going on, and I was had to, and I was tweaking, and I was just yeah, like, I've been to college Then she texted me like, my bad, G, I was ass here. I don't know what the fuck I was talking about. <laughs> but it was the truth. I'm like, look, I'm going to save my feature. We ain't going to do no Mike Jack shit. So <laughs> shout out to you. Um, we know you got the music coming up, so we looking forward to it. We love that you staying home, you sober, sure. something that people need to know. Being sober, Ty Money, you hear you heard it here. He was getting high, that shit was weak for the birds and now look, look at this. See, at first before he was getting high, this had the table was. Straight up. This mm-hmm. was this was three dollars on that mom. What you got, Pinky? No. Oh, it was like that. <laughs> and look, 
Fuck them drugs, y'all. Stop doing them fucking drugs, kid. Yeah. Go get y'all some motherfucking money, man. Straight up. Period. So we look forward to everything you got going on, coming up. Before you get up out of here on the show, we do a couple of things you already know. Mm. We got a segment. It's called Wife, Sad Chick, and Crack and Never Call Back. We know you're in a relationship, but you know, yeah. we won't disrespect white people. But it's just for fun. Wife, Crack, and Never Call Back. Right. Mm-hmm. So which one you gonna wife, which one you gonna crack, and which one you gonna hit one time and Never leave the bitch alone? No, I'm gonna tell you the oh. name. You got Lyra Galore, Lyra Galore. You know what that is? Yeah. Lyra. Yeah. You, you said got, wife, crack, and never and call then back. hit once and never call the bitch back. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Lyra Galore, Lyra Galore, Lizzo. You know who Lizzo mm-hmm. is? <laughs> Lizzo is the super number one. Lizzo. She's she's huge right now. Lizzo. Big girl. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna pull up. You got. Oh Lizzo. yeah, the girl who's at the Lakers game. Yeah. Tweaking. Yeah. Oh okay. Thick. Thick. <laughs> Shout out to Lizzo. You got Lizzo, Lyra Galore, and you got Bernice. Burgos. Yeah. Oh wife. Bernice wife. Wife. Your wife and her. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so who you cracking and never calling back? I'm and who cracking. Was sad? I'm cracking up a call back to Big Girl. Okay. Lizzo. Lizzo. Yeah. Lyra could be the side. And Lyra the side. Okay. Yeah, so you going to crack and never call Lizzo back? Hell yeah. I don't even want to be associated with that. So that's on a drunk Why? night. Uh, a drunk night. You hit. <laughs> how she, I don't even know her. I she just remember her at the Lakers she's game and how she was. That's all I ever seen her do was at that Lakers right. game. She so was walking through the know. hallway. So okay. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. How she was. Nah. Yeah, but she a queen, though. Know, she's super smart. She intelligent. She got, like, some of the biggest See, music know that. in the world. And I think with the game, everybody's like, what the fuck? She got ass out. I think her confidence level is huge. I mean, it but that ain't got nothing to do with if a See, nigga want to fuck it or not. I ain't saying. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying. You know, y'all niggas, so y'all look about the shit. But I'm just saying, Little booties you know, matter, man. Little she booty. Shout out Big Boss Demo. <laughs> I'm just telling them. So, in case he ain't know. So, you know, we got it. You made your selection. Yeah. And before we get up out of here... We got this thing called No Cap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you already know. You already know. No it. Cap. <laughs> we don't pull out No Cap um, for everybody, but you know. Let's do it. We know you don't really come to interviews and conversations with people. So yeah, don't come country, outside. So we got to get it all. Let's do it. We know these real, so we already know how you come. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> For Wad, man. Shout out for hey. Wad. Shout out Trezzy. Hey. <laughs> My boy. Hey, that motherfucker about to break. It don't even see go that high down. You getting that schmuck. I can't wait till somebody come in this business with fake diamonds. Hey, they. Oh, wait. Listen. Listen. Happen. Listen. 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 Okay, well, I'm letting y'all know, if you come in this motherfucker with some food shit, you're going to get caught, because I ain't going to stop her no more. I, I told her a couple times, like, don't, no, don't, don't do it, because, you know, <laughs> but fuck it. I mean, if you brave enough to put that fake shit on, then you got to be brave enough to let a motherfucker know that that shit fake. For sure. Fuck. That shit is not going to keep going down. See, I never, you, see, I never, I never wore jewelry all my career because if I'm gonna wear it, got, I can't. You can't be out here wearing jewelry and mm-hmm. it ain't real. Just wait. Yeah. Don't wear none until you get your shit together. Right. I was just That's watching when the motherfucker say, "Man, listen, if you can't afford a nice watch, man, just get you an Apple Watch, man." Yeah. They say Michael Kors don't even wear the Michael Kors watches. Yeah. I wear Apple Watch and I got bread and I got Rollies and shit that cost <laughs> big money. That's iced the fuck out, yeah. and I still throw on it. So why the fuck would you throw on a fake ass Michael Kors watch with the rhinestones in it? 
Just get you, spend a couple hundred dollars for you an Apple Watch if you can't afford a nice timepiece. But what about the guys who, what what if they can't afford it and they rappers and they just want to cap? And so they fake it and so they make it. I mean, I don't come on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it, because y'all already know what's going to happen coming in this motherfucker. And Bo yeah. is not saving nobody no more. Ain't that right? I can't say you, so <laughs> I, she, got the, she got the go ahead. That's what it is. You Straight already up. know what it is. But time, time money, money, man. Thank we you appreciate all. you for coming through, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for. I can't lie to you. You know, and, and a lot of people, this the thing with, with motherfuckers in, in, in this city. Well, in the world. Mm -hmm. They be scared to say what it is. I'm a fan. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fan of the music. I'm a fan of the bars, what you're doing. Like, lyrically, bar for bar, you in my top five in the city. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. Man, you know what? I can't just give a top five off off the back, but top money, and this is no no order. I'm going to leave my fifth gonna spot open. Top five right now. I'm going to do a top five on the, on the spot top five. This without me thinking and, and doing a top five without me thinking right now would be Ty Money, King Diesel, Bump, Count, Herbo. Mm. That's mine right now. Okay. You know what I'm Don't saying? Me, man. I ain't That's right. mine right <laughs> now. It's you know what I'm saying? No, it, it is, but you can't go wrong with now yeah, one of them five. Can. Shout out to Period. Shout out to you can't go wrong. And that's just off the top without me sitting back yeah. and, and putting it all together. Yeah. But if I have to get my top five, and I ain't just saying that because he right here. Right. I've been saying it. That's just like Diesel slept on, I've sure. been saying it. Yeah. Like, I've been watching his shit too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. And, and bump, crazy. I always bump. And, 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 and count is two of the niggas that inspired me from back in the day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they, when mm. it come down to bars and talking that shit, yeah. They they that and then Herbo, I he the yeah. young goat runner up. I, you yeah. know I like my shorty Polo G. That's uh -huh. my little brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. But you know like I say that five right there. That's a strong five. I uh -huh. put that five up against any other motherfucking five. Uh -huh. Facts. And I'm gonna go get the bag too. I got a bag too, <laughs> little bitch. And I put that on that five yeah. all day long. Lose your money. Just like I said, I'll beat your ass. I'll take your money, too, with that five against any five you put up. We definitely leave it with the money. You know what I'm saying? And if we lose, we leave it with the money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, money, what's your IG for those that don't know where they follow you at? Time Money SBMG, all across the board, all that social shit. Time Money SBMG. Period. So y'all yeah. make sure y'all follow Time Money. You already know it's your girl Chella H. Thank you for coming through. Thank y'all. All, Appreciate all the new shit on the way. It's your girl Chella H. Big Boss yeah, Bow yeah. Deal. You already know Straight Drop Uncut. Well, we giving it to you raw all the time. Until next time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Running, they won't let me hold nothing. Common road running, they won't let me hold nothing. They turn me to a cold motherfucker.